Hi, and thank you so much for joining me for this week's Celebrate Wonder Bible lesson. All throughout September, we're going to be focusing on the word reconciliation. Now that's a long word that basically means bringing people with differences together and helping them understand each other. So reconciliation is the process where people who have differences come together and make amends. All throughout September, we're going to be reading stories from the Old Testament about a man named Joseph and how he worked to have reconciliation with his brothers. Last week, we heard the story about how Joseph and his brothers were in conflict. And as a result of this conflict, Joseph's brothers sold him to some passing traders. This week, we pick up the story after Joseph was sold to those men and find out what happened to him. As you're hearing the stories of reconciliation this month, I want to remind you of this month's Bible verse, which comes from the book of Psalms. Psalm 130, verse 4. But you forgive us so that we should stand in awe of you. And this Bible verse is a reminder to all of us that no matter what conflicts we may have with other people, God forgives us. This week, I'll be reading from the Celebrate Wonder Bible Storybook. This week's reading is from the book of Genesis, chapter 39, verse 20, through chapter 40, verse 23. Joseph in Egypt. Joseph traveled with the traders to Egypt. Joseph worked for a while for a man before that man threw Joseph in jail for something that Joseph didn't do. While Joseph was in jail, he began to tell the other prisoners what their dreams meant. Two of Pharaoh's workers had strange dreams. Joseph said, tell me your dreams and God will help me understand them. Pharaoh's cupbearer began, I dreamed of a vine that had three branches and those branches grew grapes. I then took my hands and made juice from those grapes and gave that juice to Pharaoh. The Pharaoh drank the juice. What does all of this mean? Pharaoh will forgive you, said Joseph. Then Pharaoh's baker told Joseph his dream. I baked bread for Pharaoh. Then birds came and ate all of the bread before I could give it to him. What does it mean? It means that Pharaoh will not forgive you, explained Joseph. A few days later, what Joseph said about those dreams came true. To go along with this week's Bible reading, I have three discussion questions that you can use to talk about the reading with your family. Question one. What stands out to you about this week's Bible story? Question two. Joseph used his special gift in this story. That gift was telling other people what their dreams meant. How can you use a special gift you have to work towards reconciliation? Question three. What do you think God's dream of reconciliation looks like? Take some time this week and discuss those questions with your family. Now, if we look back at all that happened to Joseph from the Bible stories we've read thus far, we know that Joseph was one of his father's favorite sons, that he had a very special robe that his father gave him, and that he had certain privileges, like he didn't have to work in the fields like his brothers. Then, however, his brother sold him to traitors. Joseph worked for a man who got him imprisoned for something that Joseph didn't do. Joseph was probably feeling pretty angry and mad. But how did Joseph react in his actions? Instead of reacting with anger or fear, Joseph instead turned to God. He knew that God had given him a special gift of being able to tell other people what their dreams meant. So Joseph used the opportunities that God gave him to plant some seeds of reconciliation. Joseph continued to mature, grow, and learn from each unfortunate event that happened to him. And whenever Joseph was in trouble, he turned to God. He knew that God had given him some special gifts that he can use to help others. Now we haven't reached the point in Joseph's story where he's actively working towards reconciliation with his brothers. But we see that instead of being angry towards his brothers, Joseph is instead taking the situation he's in turning to God, and doing what he can to make the best of that situation. By not fixating on his anger at his brothers, Joseph is working towards reconciliation. 
As we learned from last week's Bible story, reconciliation takes time sometimes. It's not always something that can be fixed immediately. So Joseph is using this time to work on his anger and to focus on other things, to look at these hardships as opportunities provided from God. Once the seed of reconciliation is planted, like it has been planted in Joseph, that seed will take its time, but eventually it will grow and bloom into something wonderful. That something wonderful will be a renewed and restored relationship with another person. Instead of being enemies or not getting along, the relationship will begin a new chapter. Next week, we'll hear more about how these seeds of reconciliation that have been planted within Joseph's life continue to grow and lead him on the path towards healing and peace with his brothers. For this week's craft idea, we're going to be making a dream drawing. Some of you might have very vivid dreams and be able to remember those dreams the next day. I am not one of those people. However, when reading this week's Bible story, the dream of Pharaoh's cupbearer was very vivid in my mind. I could picture that vine growing those three branches and then grapes growing from each of those branches. So what you're going to do is you're going to get some paper and either think about a dream that you've had recently or think about one of the two dreams that we heard from this week's Bible story, either the Pharaoh's cupbearer's dream or the Pharaoh's bread baker's dream. I chose the cup bearer's dream, and what I did is I sketched what I thought that dream looked like. Now, everybody's drawing is going to be completely different, especially if you're drawing one of your own dreams. But take some time, vividly imagine that dream, and then draw it out on paper. This is what I think the Pharaoh's cup bearer's dream looks like. Once I drew it, I then cut it out kind of in a cloud pattern, so it kind of looked a little bit like a dream. I'm going to put this drawing on my desk and use it as a reminder of how Joseph saw the hardships in his life as opportunities from God and how all the time, even while he was imprisoned, Joseph was working on reconciliation. Those seeds of reconciliation were planted within Joseph and were growing a little bit each day. I hope you enjoy this week's craft idea. Please join me for a word of prayer. Dear God, we ask for your forgiveness for all of those times when we haven't sowed those seeds of reconciliation, when we've refused to plant those seeds and instead kept our anger, fear, and sadness close to us instead of working towards peace with the other person. Forgive us for those times and God, walk alongside with us as we work towards reconciliation. Please be with us and grant us your grace and peace as we work towards reconciliation. God, this week, we continue to ask for prayers for all of those people who are sick or injured. Anyone who has COVID is recovering from COVID and all of those medical professionals working so hard to keep all of us safe. God, we ask you to watch over all of us and all of our friends and families until we meet together again. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me for this week's Celebrate Wonder Bible lesson. I hope you have an excellent week, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!